ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to address you on this special occasion to launch the Moses Mawani Kotani Foundation. I am pleased that after many years of good intentioned exchanges regarding the establishment of the Kotani Foundation to investigate, preserve and share his legacy, we have finally brought this dream to fruition. As you would recall, Mary Becker Kotani gave an unequivocal indication at a centennial birthday early this year that the most appropriate gift to her in this year would be for her to see this foundation get off the ground. From this point of view, serving on the Moses Kotani Foundation is a contribution I'm all too willing to make because the vision that Moses Kotani lived for is a universally inspiring cause. Thus, associating myself with this memory is an honor that invokes immense responsibility to uphold his legacy to the latter at all times. As a leader, Moses Kotani led by example, taking charge even under conditions that were potentially threatening to his own life and limb. He would not expect of others that which he himself could not do or say under the same circumstances. The main defining quality of Moses Kotani in the following terms, and I quote, but if there is one quality in Moses Kotani which I would single out before all others, it was that he was incorruptible. He was incorruptible not only in his politics, but also in his personal life. <coughs> Moses Kotani was a man you knew could never let you down, never do something behind your back, never deceive you. You always know where you were with Moses Kotani, close quote. I believe that among Moses Kotani's greatest contributions and legacy to the African National Congress and our country is that he valued education highly. 